In this episode of Rob Bainers, we'll be looking at the founder of Microsoft, Bill Gates, and we're going to be finding out how he went from a guy who dropped out of college to become one of the richest people in the world today. Sit back, enjoy. Let's begin. Sinatra here and welcome back to another video on the channel and welcome to another episode of Fraud Billionaires episode 4 on this series and it's going to be on like you saw from induction Bill Gates the founder of Microsoft one of the richest godforsaken people to ever walk this earth his net worth Bill Gates is 100.8 billion dollars 100.8 billion dollars that's that's a lot holy shook that's a lot of money <laughs> And we're going to begin with Bill Gates' early years. He was raised up and he was born in Seattle, Washington in October the 20th, 1955. That's where he was raised, that's where he went to school, that's where he did everything as a young boy. And, well, speaking of school, he actually was a natural Mert scholar, graduate from school, from Lakeside School as well. And then obviously he left that school to go to Harvard University, one of the hardest godforsaken colleges in the world. And well, let's just say that in two years since he's been there, he met a good mate called Paul Allen. Paul Allen is a massive part in how he got to where he is today. They decided two years, just leave and drop everything at Harvard University and put so much time, so much effort into what is going to be one of the biggest godforsaken companies in the history of the world, Microsoft. They left college in 1973. Two years after they left college, Microsoft was introduced to the whole world. And that is where we begin with Microsoft. What the hell's going on? Oh, I didn't get rich by writing a lot of checks. <laughs> Microsoft was founded in 1975. Five years after it was founded, Microsoft struck a partnership deal with IBM to help them improve their systems, to help them improve how to make better technology for the, for the computers. And obviously IBM saw that some of their operating systems weren't the best, so they told Bill Gates and Microsoft to improve their operating system. That's what they did, Microsoft. They made a brand new operating system called the OS slash two. With Bill Gates seeing how big Microsoft was growing, he decided to have a snap, have a crack at the gaming industry and take on Sony and Nintendo. It's been rumored upon rumor that they were going to make a brand new game console to rival the, the PlayStation and the Nintendo GameCube. And what that was going to be called was the Xbox. But it was not going to be called the Xbox. It was actually going to be called Direct Xbox which doesn't have the same ring to it as Xbox. It was shown to the whole world in November the 15th, 2001. And with the success of the first ever Xbox, they made Xbox Live, which transformed how people play gaming in the world today. And in the future. Okay, guys, tell me again. Uh, now, which one do I press to shoot now? Who's the douchebag who keeps dying? I'm not a douchebag. I'm new. Is this a crouch button? <laughs> With the success of the first Xbox and the success of how it did on November 2005, they decided to make the Xbox 360 probably one of my favorite ever consoles ever godforsaken made. Then, obviously, nearly a decade later, they probably made one of the ugliest consoles. I have ever seen in the Xbox One, which looked like a massive bar of chocolate, but they somehow turned it into a fucking game console. Why? Why must life be so hard? And that is how the birth of Xbox was introduced to the whole world. Now we're heading to his personal life, and Bill Gates was married in January the 1st, 1994, to Melinda. French. They were obviously maybe high school sweethearts and decided to get married. They had three kids during that time and the, the most one that definitely caught my eye 
doing the research for this video is the fact that Bill Gates has been on Forbes' number one richness leaderboard 12 times. Seven of them have been consistent over that damn period between 2001 right through to 2007 and obviously in 2009 and 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017 only the man who created Amazon is ahead of him. Wow. That is, that's, that, 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 that deserves our appreciation. And the media industry. Now, I'm not really allowed to talk about Bill Gates in the media industry because he's sort of a quiet figure, he sort of does his own thing. Um, maybe because he's just a big ass nerd. There's a couple of documentaries made on Bill Gates' life in terms of how he became from where he was to where he is today. And a couple of movies about him which I'm going to tell you right now were utter fucking garbage. And the people who directed those movies, you should be fired. You should be fired. Simple as that. I mean, the, the one about Steve Jobs versus, versus Bill Gates in 2015. Now, I've never seen that movie, but I've seen the reviews for that movie. Oh, it wasn't that fucking good. So that is the life of Bill Gates. From what he was from the start to where he is now. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying that a lot of people may not like, like Bill Gates in terms of maybe he may be done a lot of things that a lot of people don't really like, but... He's not the worst billionaire of all time, he's not the best billionaire of all time, but he is definitely one of them billionaires that you have to give huge respect for, because what he has done for everyone in terms of the revolutionized the way technology is today, that's quite astonishing really. So, that is the end of another episode of Fraud Billionaires. Hope you really enjoyed this. Please put in the comments down below what you think um, Bill Gates is, do you don't really like him, do you like him, do you not? If I missed out anything that hasn't already been said about Bill Gates, please also put that in the comments as well. And if you've got any other billionaires that I should make videos on in, in the future, please also put that in the comments as well. Anyway, hope you all have a smashing day. Enjoy yourselves. Please like, subscribe. The natural is out.